Most of the couple who are in infertility treatment have a common query or a confusion that what is IVF, what is ICSI, what is the difference between them and which one is better. Today, I would like to brief you on the difference between the IVF and ICSI. In IVF, we put egg with thousands of sperms that is approximately 50,000 to 100,000 in a petri dish for the fertilization, which is a natural fertilization where a competent sperm fertilizes an oocyte. This is called a conventional IVF. IVF is suggested for female factor infertility, whether it is a unexplained infertility or failed ovulation induction or IUI cycles or a tubal factor. Whereas in ICSI, an embryologist selects a competent sperm and injects into the egg for the fertilization. It is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It is a micromanipulation technique which is also called as an advanced IVF. ICSI is suggested for severe male factor. That includes patient with a low count, motility or a poor morphology. It is also suggested in previous fertilization failures or poor fertilization. ICSI is used for severe male factor infertility where the counts are low with a low motility or in, with a poor morphology. It is also suggested in a patients who had a previous fertilization failures or a poor fertilization. And it is also suggested for the patients who are supposed to undergo pre-implantation genetic testing or in patients with unexplained infertility. In ICSI, we will be able to select a good sperm and even assess the maturity of the egg. The chances of fertilization rates are high with ICSI compared to IVF where it in turn it results into a more number of embryos and it increases the cumulative pregnancy rates.